welcome back to the Marcus Kid, my player here. And today, Marcus Kid decides where he's going to play college ball at. Will it be at prestigious Kansas, Georgetown, Arizona, Louisville? Will he stay in California where his father played, but this time at UCLA? Will it be Connecticut, Texas, Michigan, or Villanova? All good options for Marcus Kidd to bring his talents to, and every school wants him there. But where will he ultimately decide where to go and play his college ball at? That's where it's going to be UCLA Bruins. He's going to go back to California where Jason Kidd, his father, he went to California. Golden Bears. Marcus Kidd's going to decide UCLA as he did not have a scholarship offer to California. But as you know in this game, they did not give you a choice of California. But let's get right into it. Freshman year, first game, UCLA versus Louisville. You know, Louisville has Terry Rozier and Montrezl Harrell who are on this game since they are in the NBA now. And UCLA has Marcus Kidd, that's about it. I had to do the stupid dance moves to start the game. But let's get into it, the jump ball. Let's see if Marcus Kidd can make an impact right away as a freshman. The jump ball is going to be won by the Louisville Cardinals, and let's get into it. First, we're going to start off with a Marcus Kidd screen. He's going to go right around, and he's going to dunk on Martrezl Harrell right there. He throws it down, two-handed slam right over Harrell. Nice dunk on to start out his freshman career. Nice dunk right there. Now we're going to have another pick and roll here. This time he's going to dish it to his postman for a nice layup. I do not know names for these teams other than Terry Rozier, Montrezl Harrell, and Marcus Kidd. So bear with me on that. But right here, Marcus Kidd's going to get the steal, and he's going to be selfish with it. And he's going to take it all the way himself. Two-handed flush, the steal, and the finish. Now back on defense here. Marcus Kidd's going to get back. He's going to swat the man right there, and that's going to take us to the first timeout break of the first half. And... If you guys have experienced this yourself, this is probably the most annoying thing with a my player playing in college. There's about two, three minutes left in the first half. Marcus Kidd gets subbed down. He's out for the rest of the half. How do you expect me to be a top draft pick if you're going to sub me out for the whole entire first half? That's just not realistic at all. But we're going to have to deal with it and get in the second half here. Spin move going to kick it out to his three-point shooter there. And he's going to knock that one down for another assist. As you see, Marcus Kidd only had four points at halftime. This time he's going to get beat, back cut, and that he's gonna, he is going to swat his man there. This time he's going to show his post-up game. He's backing his man down. What's he going to do here? He's going to fake, and he's going to go right up with it, and he's going to finish for a six points. He's going to do his freaking environment, even though he's not on fire at all. And once again, he's going to be subbed out, and he comes back with under a minute left. Probably the most frustrating thing I've dealt with on this game. Right here, he's going to miss a layup, but he is going to get his own board and put it back up. And that's going to do it for this game, a really terrible game by Marcus Kidd. UCLA did get the win, though, 37-26. to but you see, he only scored nine points. He did stuff the stat sheet quite a bit. Four rebounds, four assists, two steals, two blocks. But really not as much as I wanted him to get done here. And after this game, he was projected as a top 20 pick. So he really is trending down. But we are going to get into our midseason test here at Texas. Where Miles Turner, who has proved himself very good in the NBA so far with the Pacers, will be taking on Marcus Kidd. Marcus Kidd really trying to come back off that awful first game as a UCLA Bruin. So let's hear if we can make. Let's see if we can make a different story here in this midseason test. We're gonna start with the jump ball again. This time, once again, it's gonna be won by Texas. Our center's not very big, so it's probably never gonna be won. But right here, Marcus Kidd's gonna get a rebound. He's gonna take it himself here. He's gonna drive. He's gonna do a crossover spin move. Some nice moves here. Another spin behind the back pass out to the three-point shooter, and he's gonna knock that one down. A great play right there by Marcus Kidd. Find this man. This time, he's gonna post up the smaller point guard. He's gonna keep backing him down. He's gonna pump fake. He's gonna go up right with it, and he's gonna get the and one. He's going to knock his free throw down to convert the end one. A good start by Marcus Kidd here in this game. Then he gets a swat right there. He's going to take this one up the court. He's going to have a nice bounce pass for another assist. Two assists, three points to start out this game. Much better start for Marcus Kidd. He's going to fall for the pump fake there, but he's going to recover and swat the point guard. The point guard has no chances. He's really short. Marcus Kidd is a six foot five point guard. This time he's going to cross over, pull up from three, knocks down a three, something he did not do at all the first game. If you saw the stats, he's about 0 for 4, 0 for 5. In that first game, we'll see if he can knock some shots down here. This time, he's going to take it coast to coast all the way down the court. They're dubbed 23 to 7. And at the half, it's going to be 23 to 9. Marcus Kidd, 10 points, one rebound, two assists, and two blocks. Not shooting the ball very well, but really had himself a good first half. We'll see if he can continue off of that. He's going to do that right from the start, taking all the way around the defense for a nice layup. He's going to have another bucket there. Now he's going to get on the right wing. He's going to pull up for the jumper, and he's going to knock that one down. Another bucket for Marcus Kidd, really showing his top tier talent here in the second game. This time he's going to take it off the inbounds passes. They're pressing. He's going to take it all the way for the one-handed flush. Another dunk. He's showing his athleticism here as a freshman, but not, not a whole lot 
lot else. And this time he's going to take it all the way coast to coast again for a two-handed flush. And this is really getting out of reach. Ten-point lead. A nice four-bar Marcus Kidd. He's going to take this one up the court. He's going to rifle a bullet left-handed pass up the court for the assist. That's going to be another nice play, but that's going to take us to the end of the game. UCLA 39, Texas 25. Really some disappointing outings for Marcus Kidd, and that is all I do show you for this gameplay. He will be back in the next episode with his last couple college games in the NBA draft. As, a, as always, I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, I'm out. Peace.